Hi my loves and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Renee and I am back with yet another video. I'm on a roll. Don't disrupt my roll. <laughs> So you can probably tell I actually got my hair done. Well, I got about three inches cut off of it yesterday. It feels so much better. Since I've been gone quite a long time and I really haven't purchased a whole lot of makeup while I've been on my little break, so I thought what we could do would be an old school favorites. So makeup that I've been using or that I've had for a long time that I keep repurchasing because there's always new stuff coming out like every single fucking day. But I keep going back to some of these products and I still love them, even though, you know, they're like five or six years old. I mean, these products aren't five or six years old that I'm putting on my face, but they've been around and I checked really quick. I tried to make sure that these items are still available for you to purchase because I don't want to be talking about old stuff that you can't buy because that wouldn't be helpful for either one of us. So if you guys want to see some old but new favorites, then just keep watching. The last video I uploaded the other day is a massive, huge giveaway. So make sure to check that out and make sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Seattle MUA Renee. I'll leave a link below. Why does this side always, like it loses its curl and then the side stays curly? Let's get into it. Um, I'm gonna start with a facial cleanser, the Belief Pore cleanser. Yeah, that's all it says. <laughs> but I love this stuff so much. It's got a pump. What I love about it the most is that it really lathers and foams up. I don't like a soap that doesn't feel like it's cleaning you. So after I remove my makeup, I use the soap the foam consistency and it just I mean you can kind of tell right there it just lathers up and I love it. it's got a nice light scent to it it's not it's a little overpowering if you're sensitive to smells you might not like this but it uh, balances your skin's pH levels. Definitely recommend this cleanser. You can get it at Sephora. My favorite perfume that I always run back to, YSL Manifesto. Now, I'm horrible at describing scents. Like, how do you, can you smell that? No? Okay. But it just has this sexy, it's definitely more on the musky kind of side. It's not like floral or very sweet. It's definitely kind of a warm, toasty, seductive, but it just makes you feel sexy and it lasts a long, long time. I just, I haven't found any perfume that I love more than this one. So primer, Benefit Professional. We've all heard of it. I'm sure everybody and their mom has tried it or has it, 
but I just, I'm wearing it today. I can't stop running back to it if I run out of a new one that I'm testing or if I'm testing a new foundation. This primer just works with almost every foundation that I try it with. So I definitely recommend this primer. It just really does a great job. Even if you're not gonna put on foundation, it really evens out your skin tone and just gives you that flawless base. While we're on the benefit train, Hula bronzer, you can see uh, mine has my name on it there, but, and they don't come like that in the store. I believe on Benefit's website, you might be able to get a new one engraved with your name on it because you don't want Renee's Hula bronzer. But as you can tell, it's very well loved. I have another one ready to go, but I just, I feel like this is the perfect bronzer for light to medium tan skin tones and Benefit recently, well, last year, I believe, came out with the Hula Light and the Hula Deep, which I am so happy that they did because now every skin... Skin tone can try hula if you haven't tried it highly highly recommend i wouldn't be able to do this video without mentioning the anastasia beverly hills contour kit i believe this is medium but as you can see I love the banana shade right here, and I just feel like you get a nice mix. I can't talk today. <laughs> Mixture of cool tones for contouring and warmer tones for bronzing. They obviously make this in a light and a deep as well. I love powder contour. I just don't get into the cream contouring too much. Uh, I am wearing Benefit Hula today, although I have pretty prominent cheekbones naturally. So I have to be careful when I contour my cheeks because I can go zero to masculine looking in a flash. Powder. I started using this in high school. Obviously, this is not the same one I had in high school. I hope not. MAC Studio Fix Powder. It is a powder foundation. However, I use it like on no makeup makeup days, but I also use it as a setting powder. It doesn't have a whole ton of coverage in it so if you wear it alone it just kind of evens out your skin tone a little bit but I I don't know there's something about this and I know powder foundations um they've come out with a lot I really also like the makeup forever one I just got the Fenty Beauty one and I'm still trying it out I'm a little unsure, but I do love and recommend the Makeup Forever or the MAC Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. This is the shade NC25, which is too light for me, but there you go. It's just very finely milled and it's so easy to apply and blend. While we're talking about MAC, their blushes are some of the best. I'd say MAC and NARS. Um, I do have a video of my favorite blushes. So if you guys are curious about that, check it out. But this is Peaches. And 
I feel like any skin tone, maybe not deep, it might not show up as well. Let's see if I can get a swatch. I know I'm kind of a mess today, but there is peaches. This is a sheer tone blush, but they're very, very buildable. And that's what I like about them is that it doesn't overwhelm you. And while we're talking about it, my favorite blush brush is also from MAC. This is the MAC. It's either 129 or 123. I've been trying out a few other blush brushes but I really love the way that this is shaped. The angle of it just makes it so that you can apply your blush evenly. It just goes right in the right place. Highly, highly, highly recommend if you're looking for a blush brush to try out the MAC 129. Contour brush. I'm still loving this. I still use it all the time. Luxie Beauty. And I think this is just an angled, angled brush. I don't know what it's called. I also love the nose contour brush. The JD Weighty 180 is what it is. I may have been gone for a long time, but I still know my shit. Just got a couple more things that you need. Okay, eyelashes. If you're wearing false eyelashes, House of Lashes glue, the white one is absolutely amazing. I've been using this for like five years. I've tried others. I do have kind of sensitive eyes. They do have a black one but I don't feel like it has the same adhesive. It doesn't seem to stick as well as this one. It's latex and formaldehyde free, so it doesn't at all irritate my eyes. I can have lashes on all day long and there's no burning and they really do stick well. Then benefit, give me brow, give me brow. This is shade three. And like you can see how <laughs> gross it is. But I love using this after I put on, uh, fill in my brows with a pencil or on no makeup, makeup days. I love how small the brush is. It just really really does a good job about detailing, you know, cause it's hard to get up in there. So this isn't like super old, but I was trying to find a palette that I still love and use that isn't um, exclusive to one color family. The Urban Decay Born to Run palette, I still, love this guy. I love the fact that you get all of these shades. So you can either go for a warm tone look over here, or there's even a few cooler tones. There's a nice mix of shimmers and mattes. And the, sh the formula of this is just amazing. These blend so well, so pigmented, just highly, highly recommend this palette. Let's swatch a few of these shades just so you can see. Let's do Wild Heart here. Just beautiful shimmer. And then let's do a Riff. I really love this one. Really good transition shade. So yes, if you don't have this Urban Decay Born to Run palette, 
I would definitely recommend picking it up. Great for traveling, great for everything. And I love the packaging too. They did a really good job with this one. Love it. I was gonna show you, well, I still can show you the Anastasia Sugar Glow Kit. The Nicole Guerrero one is actually my favorite. I know Sephora restocked it, but when I checked Sephora this morning, I didn't see it on there. But I do recommend the Sugar Glow Kit. I think that every skin tone could use this. But the Balm Mary Luminizer. Yeah. <laughs> I think this might have been one of my very first highlighters to this. And MAC, the Mineralized um, Soft and Gentle. That's what it's called. But I love the Mary Luminizer. It just... After all these years, you know how <laughs> dirty it is. There's a swatch of it. Of course, it goes better on your face, but highly, highly recommend. It's not too glittery or anything like that. It can get blinding if that's what you're looking for. My little trick for making your highlighter really pop, if you want to be seen from space, is to put on like a cream uh, highlighter first and then top it with a powder and you will notice yourself and the people up in Mars will also notice you down here on Earth. Concealer. Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I still love this. I also love the Peach Corrector. This is just the shade Light Neutral, but this is just a really great everyday concealer. It doesn't cake up. It doesn't settle into fine lines. It just does what you want it to. And what more could you ask for? Okay, one more thing. I should have mentioned this with the skincare, but you need this. If you don't have this, the Fresh Sugar Lip Polish. I have tried other lip exfoliators, but I keep coming back to this one. I actually, this is a brand new replacement, as you can see, because I it took me about two years. I think, to go through my last one, but I finally went through it. I love the scent of it. It kind of smells like Lysol a little bit, but damn, this stuff works so well. I find that other ones just kind of, you know, sand up your lips a little bit. But this one actually exfoliates and does a really good job. And then I use the Laneige, I think is how you pronounce it. The Sleeping Lip Balm. That is my nighttime kind of skincare routine. I don't use this every night, but it's really great before you apply if you're going to wear liquid lipstick because they're so drying, you know. So if you do the lip polish, put on lip balm, and you're good to go. I love it. So that is all I had for now. I mean, I have so many more products, but I'm gonna stop there because this video is already getting long. So definitely check out my last video for the giveaway. I don't know why I did that. I don't know what I'm doing anymore you guys um by the way this top is also old and it's from yes but these are from fashion nova i did uh pick up a lot of things well not a lot but a fair amount of things from express 
And so I'm thinking of doing an express try on haul for you guys. If you're interested, let me know or let me know what you want to see. Um, the other video that I have been planning on doing that I haven't done yet is my favorite brushes. So yeah, let me know if there's anything else that you guys want to see from me because I'm here for you. And I really hope that everyone is doing well. I plan on doing a little kind of story time about what I've been through this year and why I kind of fell off the face of the earth for a few months, but it's going to take me a little bit of time. I'm still recovering. No, I didn't have COVID or anything like that. Um, so yeah, just health stuff and partial personal stuff. So anyways, I hope that you guys are doing well. It's so nice to sit down in front of the camera and talk to you guys again. I've put on my makeup twice this week, which is a record for this year. It's, it's only almost April, but I love you guys so, so much. Please take care of yourself and please know that I love you and I hope that you subscribe and stick around because we have so much coming. We have so much that I don't even know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna do it together. So I love you guys and I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you in my next video.